Hey, so bit of a different video here. Just want to do like an uncut chat with you guys for like 10, 15 minutes um, from some of the biggest lessons I learned last year. A little bit late from uploading this video. Uh, meant to do it in January, but honestly been procrastinating on it because I don't know. It's just like very open about obviously, you know, what I made and I guess like a bit nervous to put those numbers out there, but I also think it's important um, to have that full transparency with you guys, especially the guys I coach inside Club Closer and just give you kind of the overall view. And one, like kind of show you that anybody can do this, but two, also show you that there are stages and there are things you need to do step by step in order to get there. So this is an uncut video of how I made 2.8 million USD in the last 12 months that being in 2023. And I've got a few notes just so I keep on track. But I guess the first point I wanna make is like 2023 wasn't my hardest working year. I would say 2022 was, and I made less than half of that amount that I did in 2023. And I think that's because, one, I was working my ass off at the marketing agency. So bulk of that income, just to give context, came from one, my marketing agency, and two, my coaching business club closer and in 2023 sorry 2022 i was working my ass off in that agency um it was still relatively new we were still establishing ourselves within you know the niche we operate in and i was doing a lot of work within the agency um that now obviously i've outsourced and been able to find the right team for and kind of systemized so 2022 i was really working hard there and then i launched club closer in 2022 as well um and yeah i honestly worked super hard at scaling that coaching business i did absolutely everything at the start i did all the marketing all the messaging all the sales calls obviously all the content all the coaching i did absolutely everything at the start because i knew and what i learned from the agency was if i'm going to start this new business i need to know how everything works to a t and that's, you know, I think a lot of mistakes people make when they go off to start their own business, they think, hey, I'll just hire someone. And I see it all the time with people that start agencies. I still get messages today from guys that have just started marketing agencies and like, hey, I've got a marketing agency. I want to hire someone. I'm like, well, how much are you making with your agency right now? Oh, we haven't got a client yet. It's like, okay, you can't outsource the sales without knowing how to do the sales yourself. You need to know the system so that when you go and train, you go and coach, you go and teach people that those systems actually work and you know they work because you've done them before. And that's honestly one of the most kind of high leverage things I have above my team is like everything they've done and they do for the business, I have done. I've done it myself, I've gone through, I've grinded and I know how it works. So whenever they come up with the problem or say, oh, we can't do this, we can't do that. It's like, well, yes, you can because I've done it and here's how I did it and here's how you could do better at it too. So. 2022 was all about hard work. 2023, again, not saying I didn't work. I worked still stupid hard, but it was a different kind of work. It was more precise. It wasn't about hard work. It was about focused work and targeted work. And the point I'm trying to make is, I guess what got you here won't get you there. So I know now for this year, the kind of work I'm gonna be doing is gonna be different 2023, although there's still gonna be some overlap, there's still gonna be the same thing, but it's gonna be different because if I wanna to get to bigger numbers and I wanna grow the team more, I have to continue to remove myself from playing a role in that business. But at the start of a business, you need to be doing everything. You need to understand how everything works. And if you don't understand how any part of that works, the business won't work. So the point I'm trying to make, and I'm referring to my notes so I don't, just like waffle on here is there's different stages to your entrepreneurial journey your kind of make money your the journey you go on from knowing nothing being no one and not having any money to ultimately making 10 20 30 50 100 a million a month uh business so there's different stages and the first stage for me was obviously getting to that 10k a month mark and that's the same for a lot of people um, that watch these videos, that we speak to, that I speak to every single day. And it's the hardest thing to achieve, in my opinion, getting from zero to 10K a month. It took me two years personally. You know, if you do know my story, I tried loads of different businesses in the past. I tried Amazon, 
property, dropshipping, the agency. It took me two years to get to that 10K a month mark, along with working other jobs, going to university. It was a grind. And that is where serious hard work needs to happen. You need to take the time to learn the skills in order to get there. But then it took me six months from getting to 10K to get to 50K. And then it took me one year to get to 100K. And that's 100K in um, revenue as well. I actually made made note here to be ruthlessly authentic with everything I do. And I think a lot of people in the online space will inflate their numbers and they'll flex certain figures that aren't necessarily real. They're not cash collected. They're not accurate and they round up. Oh, I've got a million a year business because I did you know, 100K one month out of 12. No, it doesn't work like that. And that's another thing. You need to be ruthlessly authentic. You need to have ruthless discipline in everything you do with yourself, especially if you can't reflect and you can't analyze what you're doing and really acknowledge where you're currently at and what's holding you back, you'll continue to stay stuck. And I did a lot of that in 2023, looking at the team, looking at the dynamic of the business and thinking, okay, what's actually going to get me to the next stage? Should I be working on this? Should I be working on that? No, my focus needs to be here. So that's important. But the point being first 10K is always the hardest. And it's likely going to take the longest. But what I learned from these last 12 months is the compound effect is very much real, right? If I hadn't have taken two years to get to that 10K a month mark, to fail at all those businesses, to eat shit essentially for a long period of time, and honestly just like not have it work out, if I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't be where I am today, where I can sit here recording this video saying I made 2.8 million a year. Um, it just wouldn't be possible because I wouldn't have learned the lessons. I wouldn't have learned the skills. I wouldn't put the value on the things that are important. And yeah, I'm not saying it's going to take you two years because it might not. But point being, you need to eat shit for a period of time, right? Because it's going to teach you the most and it's going to set you up with your discipline, with your consistency, with knowing what's important and knowing what works. And if you're not willing to eat shit, you're not going to make it is the short of it. Um, just trying to read these notes and really make sure I'm not missing anything so yeah I wouldn't have learned as much I wouldn't have the knowledge that has allowed me to scale to where I am but now and in 2023 it wasn't necessarily about hard work it was about that focus work and making the right decisions right so I've learned that now the stuff that got me to 10k 20k 100k a month now isn't going to get me to the half a million a month a million a month there are different things that need to happen. I need to focus on different things and work on different areas of the business in order to get it there. And that's not sitting on sales calls day after day, hour after hour, taking you know, 10 sales calls a day and spending all my time you know, meshing back and forth people that are interested in the business. It's growing the team and making sure that teams know everything. The team knows everything I know so that they can do it without me. And it's trying to remove myself from as much of that process as possible, which is conflicting because that's not the advice I give or would give to anybody trying to get to that 10K a month mark, trying to get to 15, 20K a month mark. You need to be jumping on those sales calls. You need to be getting those reps. You need to know how that part of the business works first. And if you don't know how to sell, you need to go away and take the time to learn how to sell first, right? Well, obviously that's what I teach and I'm biased on that. That's not what this video is about. But it's about knowing where to focus on now and what to scale and where to grow. So now it is very team focused and making sure I've got the right team around me and they know everything I know as opposed to doing the hard work it's myself and figuring that out for myself. And that is hard because people aren't in your head. People don't know exactly what you want, but you have to learn to teach them. So there's different skills I'm now learning that before weren't necessarily as important because, you know, if I wanted to just stay at 10K, 20K a month, 50K a month, I'll probably just take all the sales calls myself. I'd probably just do a lot of, you know, the editing, the marketing, the scripting, the ads, client relations, what, whatever it was that would keep me there. But now it's like, okay, well, if I want to continue to grow this beast, continue to grow these businesses and potentially look at more in the future that can get me to those, you know, 100 million mark, it's not going to be the same things, but you can't, the point I'm really trying to preface is none of this is possible unless you go through those steps first. That is the most important thing. And that is what you need to focus on first. 
if you're not currently there, if you're currently not at 10K a month, you shouldn't be thinking about 100K a month. Obviously, yes, dream big, have those visions, have those ideas in your head. But if you don't know how to make 10K a month yet, there's no way you're going to make 100. And this kind of comes back to what I've learned from the last year as well, um, is the competition is actually way less than you think, right? I've coached over 200 people inside Club Closer and I've personally hired and fired over 10 individuals that have worked in the coaching business alone. Most people simply don't want it enough. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that every single person I've coached has become successful. We've given them all the resources, we've given them everything they need and they've had the same roadmap as the guys that have gone on to do 30K a month, gone on to set their own businesses up in the future, gone on to make five, 10K a month on the side of their nine fives. But there are guys that have joined us and just haven't got those results. They haven't put in the effort. They haven't tried hard enough. And it's the same as the guys that I've hired. You know, they see the earning potential. They see what the guys are learning that are working for me and what the guys are earning that are working for me. But they're not willing to put in the effort. They're not willing to, it's not necessarily even about sacrifice. It's just more so about priorities. What are you really prioritizing in your life right now? Well, if it's making more money or if it's learning more skills, those should be the top priority for you. You shouldn't be thinking, oh, well, I need to go and do my football training or I need to go out with my friends on the weekend. It's like, no, make these things a priority and make sure you have time for them because they're the things that ultimately are going to move the needle for you. And the point I've got here is everything you have ever wanted in life lies on the other side of work and hard work. If you put in the work, you will get the results. And the time frame of those results, I can't give you the answer to that because it varies from person to person. You could argue that it took me two years to get those results um, and to start seeing things happen. But even then, like I've been working at trying to get, I've got big goals for my businesses and I've been working at them for the past year and it's taken longer than I would have expected or I would have hoped, but we're still plodding away. We're still staying consistent at it because what I've come to realize is most people's work ethics just suck. They've been incredibly brainwashed by the things they see online, the certain influences they watch, the certain entrepreneurs they watch, and the certain marketing they're seeing, where they're seeing, oh, you can make 10K a month, just like that, start a business, outsource all the work, start a drop shipping store, get people in you know, a third world country to make your product and you don't have to do anything, you can sit on a beach. That doesn't happen. Not a single entrepreneur I know, not a single successful person I know making over maybe 10, 20, 30K a month is sat on a beach every single day. They're, they're working and they love it. They absolutely love it. And that's what you need to know. You need to fall in love with the work and you need to realize that you're not going to be able to put your feet up for your whole life. You, maybe you are. Maybe you can if you make your millions now but you're not gonna be able to put your feet up whilst on the journey. You need to realize this work needs to get done and I need to make sure I'm out working. Every single other person that wants it just as bad as me, otherwise it's not gonna happen. So people are getting brainwashed, people are getting fed these lies and they need to just realize that like, as long as I put in the work, as long as I stay consistent with it, it will happen. I fell victim to this at the start. You know, I thought, start the agency, Agency's gonna do great. I'm not gonna have to work super hard at it. I can run it alongside uni. I have clients coming to me. I have I had a lady in the Philippines that was running the ads at the start and that can be that and I won't do anything. Didn't work, lost clients, lost the business, had to start from scratch again. You can't climb Everest without having ever hiked before is the point I'm really trying to make. And again, the notes I'm referring to so I don't continue to waffle on is that you need to take the steps first necessary to set yourself up in a position where that you then can go and climb Everest. If you wanted to build a skyscraper, you can't build it without having a solid foundation first. And the foundation that nobody sees, nobody even cares about, nobody admires, nobody even thinks about it. When you're stood on the seventh floor of, a, or seven, 70th floor of a skyscraper, you're not thinking about the foundations underneath. You're looking at the view of the place you're at and being like, wow, this is amazing. But you need to, realize that those that building wouldn't be there if it wasn't for the foundations. So take the time to learn those foundations, take the time to build those skills and just go on it step by step. And it's the consistency and the consistency of the actions you take that will get you there. And that's what's made me realize 
it made me think like, how am I con- gonna continue to grow this thing? How am I gonna continue to scale my income? How am I gonna continue to scale these businesses where, you know, they can be 10 times big. I could be filming this video in 10 years time and I could be talking about 10 times the amount of income. It's just by doing consistent actions every single day that are taking the right steps and making the right moves in a certain direction. Now what I'm working on and what I'm spending my focus on every single day will be very different to what you're focusing on, depending on what stage of the journey you're in. But as long as you know, and you wake up in the morning and you think, what can I put my focus on today that is gonna better my situation in a week, in a month, in a year, and you continue to focus at that step by step, don't think about the 100K just yet, don't think about the super, super big numbers, just focus on getting incrementally better. And that should be the focus. I think that's all I wanna say. Um, I know I went on, but um, those are the key lessons. It's not fancy, it's not simple, it's not, it's, there's, there's no secrets to it. It's just consistent effort and spending your time about what's gonna actually make you better every single day. But I will leave it there. Hope you like this one and see you in the next one.